वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह साथ संग जी और सिख इतिहास हैज अनइमेजिनेबल नंबर्स ऑफ सिख प्रोटेक्टर्स जस्ट अस सिंह आलूवालिया वाज वन ऑफ देम ही वाज अपॉइंटेड कमांडर ऑफ अ सिख फोर्स बाय नवाब कपूर सिंह हु हैड फॉट इन जस्टिसेस जस्ट अस सिंह हैड एक्वायर्ड प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ सिखिज्म फ्रॉम बोथ हिज पेरेंट्स हु वर डिवोटेड सिख्स हिज अंकल बाग सिंह ब्रॉट हिम टू नवाब कपूर सिंह नवाब सिंह लाइक जस्ट अस सिंह एंड सो ग्रेट पोटेंशियल इन हिम as a quick and a self learner so kapoor singh recruited him into his missile and then trained him to deal with weaponry nawab singh himself was a brave spiritual and a humble man just as singh imbibed these traits from him kapoor singh also knew that just as singh was hard working and responsible so kapoor singh gave him the responsibility of taking care of and feeding the horses while taking care of horses Just as Singh learned to have patience, humility, and love, his patience helped him as a Sikh leader to understand that victory and support wouldn't just come to him. Just as Singh loved everyone, including the animals, and love made him get rid of ego and think less of himself and more about Sikhism. Modesty and humility helped him believe in oneness. Man ni va matuchi. All Sikhs wanted to be part of his raj because all these qualities. Made him a better and a kinder Sikh leader. Sardar Bagheel Singh was the leader of the Karodia missile. He was a great leader, a fearless warrior, and a devoted Sikh. He was able to gain many territories. And when Bagheel Singh won Delhi and surrounded the Red Fort, he had the choice to take over the Red Fort and kill Emperor Shah Alam. Bagheel Singh did what a kind and a caring person would do, and upon the begging of Begum Samru. He ended up not killing the emperor or taking its fort. But Gil Singh wanted to make historical Sikh gurdwaras, so he made a deal with Begum Samru. He would spare the red fort and her husband, the emperor, in exchange for land to make gurdwaras. He also demanded Mughals to pay taxes to build the gurdwaras. But Gil Singh was completely down to earth and wanted to preserve Sikh history. Hon mein nave naal virodh hai, doi na vas ek time. which means ego is the opposite of god and both can't be together in the same person in today's time the historical sikh gurdwaras in delhi just because bagheel singh researched the history and built the gurdwaras instead of gaining political power farida burida pala kar gussa mana hadai forgiveness is a gift from vaheguru we can also consider a precious gift from a generous heart forgiveness is not a reward it is not something that we give to someone based on his or her good behavior rather it is something that we give to someone whether they deserve it or not forgiveness is also not based on whether the person asked for it or not we should be able to realize our mistakes and just apologize sukhasi so escaped his village after his parents forcibly cut his hair out of the fear of getting caught by the government then sukhasi so joined the squad of sham singh atari to become a sikh again and fight injustices before leaving his village he sneaked the mayor of the village headman and while being on the squad of sham singh So Kasim was able to get rid of his anger and his other four evils. After fighting for a while, So Kasim went back to his village to ask forgiveness and offer money to the village headman for stealing his mare. The outcome of this was the headman declining the money because he knew that So Kasim was fighting the atrocities of the government with the risk of dying. The other outcome was that So Kasim was able to get rid of his guilt and grief and make his mind pure and peaceful. The headman was also able to realize his mistake. as scaring his parents and defeating him drugs in the past. Nawab Kapoor Singh was called fearless, brave, a strategist and a great administrator by many historians. He undertook the task of consolidating the disintegrated fabrics of the Sikh Jathas. They were merged into a single central fighting force, the Dal Khalsa. He further divided it into two sections, the Burdadal, the Army of the Young, um, Army of the Veterans, and the Tirunadal, the Army of the Young. His strategy was to maintain gurdwaras and preach Sikhi as well as fight for injustice. The Burdadal was for Sikhs over the age of 40. Their job was to maintain gurdwaras, preach Sikhi and encourage people to walk on the Sikhi path. On the other hand, the Tarunadal was for Sikhs under the age of 40. The Tarunadal had to fight in battles, injustices in create the cause of the government. The Tarunadal was composed of Sikhs who more physically active to fight and had new spirits. This is relevant in today's time. The way Granthi Ji's and Sevalas and Gudwaras tend to be the people with the most Sikhi gyan and experience in life. They also tend to preach others about their Sikhi thoughts, just like the Buddha Dal. The Sikhs in the younger generation tend to form Seva groups, just like the Tarun Dal. 
These groups are filled with volunteers who would help pay or give food to the needy areas, as known as the injustices of this time. Everyone faces challenges in life. The top two challenges that sick kids are facing are bullying and the need of trying to fit in. In school, sick kids get bullied all the time by other kids in our school because other kids in our school aren't educated on the Sikh religion. So other kids in school end up talking to the stars of Sikhs and they make fun of Sikh kids. This makes Sikh kids feel upset that they're different and it increases the needs that Sikh kids have to fit in the society around them. So to try to fit in, Sikh kids wear hoodies in school to cover up their stars and they say things that Sikhs would never say. Because Guruji told us to be kind, compassionate and helpful. And Sikh kids are going away from Guruji's teachings. Once kids know who Sikhs are, then we wouldn't get as bullied as much. And we could stop trying to fit in because we are different and we should stand out. In fact, all the leaders in the 18th century did not just fight the injustices that were going on in India. But these leaders also wanted to spread and preach Sikhi. Just like the Buddha, the job was to teach others about Sikhi. Once we, the Sikh kids, help others, we will become more patient, have humility, and be loving. Just like Jassa Singh. And this would help us get more closer to Vaigruji and would make us better Sikhs. Hoi deyal kirpal prab thakur aapis sunne bentiya. Vaheguru ji ka khalsa, Vaheguru ji ki fateh.